Welcome to the Africa Mercy. Obviously, we're outside the ship right now, so we're gonna go to the gangway and head up, and then I'm gonna show you around some of my favorite places. So let's go. All right, so this is where we enter the ship. Over here is Locke, who's one of our Gurkhas, and he keeps us safe. <laughs> and when you come over the ship, you have to scan in with your handy name tag like so. And then you can enter reception. But we have to talk quiet in reception because in, in case there are alarms or calls, we want to keep our voices down so they can hear them. So this is reception. This is where all calls go through when you arrive on the ship for the first time. You're going to check in here. If you have any questions, come to reception about most things. So let's go this way. All right, so now we are in the Midships Cafe. We have the only Starbucks in all of West Central Africa, so there you have it. This is where people can come and get snacks, go on their break, hang out, um, and this is the coffee shop where you can get coffee, which is normally only 50 cents to a dollar, so come one, come all. So we also have a ship shop called Pure 99, and this is where you can get the essentials of life. Shampoo, conditioner, toilet paper, toothbrushes, things like that, things we all need. And we normally only have one or two options of everything, so it keeps your life pretty simple. So this is our international lounge. Community is really important to us here aboard and so we have several events each week where we gather together. We have our weekly community gathering, we have Sunday night church, we have Monday morning announcements and other activities that bring us together in this room. So this is our galley. It's where our meals are prepared each and every day by our awesome galley staff and that means that we don't have to worry about what we're going to eat or when we're going to cook. It's always there for us and it's such a gift. So this is where it happens. So here we have our lovely dining room. This is where we gather together to have our three meals a day, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And we actually have a completely separate team from the galley team. There's the galley team and there's the dining room team. And they are in charge of getting the food out there, taking our plates away, cleaning our plates and our dishes, and doing a lot of other awesome stuff that keeps this dining room functioning. So that's that. This is the academy. It's the school that all the kids board the ship go to. And I myself went to this school. I would tell you a little bit more about it, but I actually made a vlog entirely about the academy. So if you're interested in what school aboard a ship looks like, you can check out the link in the description below. All right, so over here we have the youth room. This is your usual occurrence, okay. And over here we have the laundry room. So we are now on deck 7, starboard side, heading toward the bow of the ship. Cameroon has some of the most beautiful sunsets and so a lot of people like to come up here in the evenings to eat their meal or to just hang out. It's a beautiful space up here to just, uh, yeah, get away from all the busyness and loudness that can be inside the ship it seems like all the time. So this is a great area, oh, look at that sunset, my goodness. Uh, over here is also the bridge, so this area tends to be very busy obviously during the sail when the captain and everyone's up there steering our ship to safety, but right now it's pretty, uh, pretty empty. Okay, so now we are on deck 8. As you can see uh, behind me, we have some of the divers gear up here uh, because we have some divers and they have to go under the ship sometimes and clear out our vent ventilation system and clear off barnacles from the bottom of the ship and things like that. So we have volunteers who then volunteer to be divers on top of their volunteer job. So that's back here. Alright, so now we are on pool deck, or deck 9, it's the highest deck on the ship, and we have our lovely pool behind us. It was given to us by a generous donor and made uh, entirely out of an old container, so that's what our pool is, and it's probably the best place on the ship. 
All right, so now we are on deck three. This section of deck three is mainly reserved for cabins. As you can see here, there's a night shift nurse sleeping, so we have to be quiet. Uh, a lot of nurses do tend to live in this section of the ship because on the other side of those two doors at the end of the hall is the hospital. And so they would be very close to all the patients and things they might need to get to. Uh, but we're not going to go to the hospital yet. Instead, we're going to go to the right. This staircase is going to bring us down to deck two. Deck two is normally made up of the engine room, but there's a small section which we're going to go down into, which has cabins and a gym, as you can see, with this guy working out. And we also have a boutique where you can give stuff you don't want away and take things that you might want. Um, so that's pretty cool. And over here is our oh-so-lovely gym. Another thing we have on the ship are stairs. Lots and lots of stairs. No, like seriously, so many stairs. Okay, so we're now heading to hospital on deck three where my dad, oh, there he is, Hi, is going to show us around. Hey, How's it going? Welcome. All right. <laughs> So the hospital, we have two, two different sides of the ship. One side is where the operating rooms are. And we'll just have a little look in here. So all the way down this alleyway, we have five operating rooms and then a recovery room. So the first two rooms are used for eye surgery. The third room is the best room because that's my room. Of course. Just, just kidding. <laughs> Uh, we have all, all of our patient wards, and so all the way down the end there, ward E, D, C, B, and A <laughs> um, are designated wards. So now we're back over on the uh, starboard side of the ship. Operating rooms are that way, and now we have the really important parts of the ship that make surgery possible. Our medical laboratory here where our blood banks are and all of our testing uh, to determine what is going wrong with the patient. Super important. And oh, hey! <laughs> How's it going? Hi. Getting your blood taken? Yeah. There we go. Human blood bank right there. That's Let's right. go. That's, right. That's awesome. These, these are two very important people here. I believe it. We wouldn't it. take care of anybody if it wasn't for them. So. That's awesome. Well, good to see you. Keep uh, you know, saving lives. And then, Further down this way are these x-ray areas where we have our CT scans and our other devices that we use for uh, looking inside the patient to determine what's going on there. Give you a oh. quick inside Secret view. access. Let's go. This is what a CT scanner looks like. And the patient comes through this round opening and the, the pictures are taken and recorded and reconstruct them in three dimensions and see all sorts of really useful things. So we really like this machine. Uh, all right, I'm now going to show you a family cabin, my family cabin. <laughs> not going to knock anyways. What a surprise. <laughs> Hello, Hello. I've never been here before. I know. Show me around this family cabin. All right, well, this is kind of one room living at its finest. You can think about maybe a cruise liner. It's a suite. We've got everything here. Here's our living room and um, great view of the sea. You really can't beat that kind of view. Mm -hmm. Over here is our dining room. We don't actually cook meals or prepare them on our own. We go to the dining room and take whatever's prepared for the day and bring it up and usually have it here in our cabin. Over here is our kitchen and that's just really for making coffee, heating up something in the microwave. We've got a fridge here and of course a snack cupboard. Of course. Other than that, down this way, the hallway, are our three bedrooms. One for each for our kids and Gary's in my bedroom at the far end. And over here, we have, oops, well that's not very attractive. Over here we have our bathroom. It's called a wet unit on the ship because it's so small and the water goes everywhere and the drain is in the floor, so. Yeah, and I at least flood this bathroom once a week, at least. This is where the magic happens, two minute showers for mm -hmm. everybody. Amen. And get any better than that. Nope. How could it? And that's about it. Wesley, do you want to show us what a bedroom for a kid in a family looks like? Sure. Follow me. <laughs> okay. Walk this way. <laughs> this. No, we're not going <laughs> in my room. I'm not prepared. This is my childhood room. I have my bed, 
second bunk that I don't need to use. Um, got two closets, cupboard here, um, my trusty fan, my Crocs, that's a necessity. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, you have a display. Bed storage. Display glass uh, African, case with uh, a picture of yourself. Yeah. It's got, got my scrubs. <laughs> um, my map of the old city of Jerusalem. That's all I you need. Know. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for sharing. You're welcome. <laughs> and that is a family cabin. Catch you later. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, you're now gonna see what a couple's cabin looks like. So we're gonna go into Peter and George's cabin. Welcome. <laughs> Hello. Come on in. We're here to see your cabin. Welcome to a couple's cabin. It's so, very big. Uh, quite a bit more spacious <laughs> than the single berths. Yes, um, yes. But cute enough to still be cozy. Uh, we have a little like kitchen area here. Um, no cooking or hot plates or anything allowed, but we do have a microwave. Which is nice. These don't normally come in the rooms. So I think there's normally like a little one that fits under under this Underneath space. Here. Yes, yes. Um, we're fortunate enough to have been left this by the previous occupants. Very nice. Um, what do we have down this spacious hall? This is just where we kind of relax. So lots of cupboards and a little pull-out desk where we actually sit sometimes and have dinner. Oh, nice. We want some time just by ourselves in a cabin. Loads of under storage as well. Big pull out doors. So we are storing all of the singles duffel bags. Awesome. Yes. So that's it. This is the couple's cabin. Oh, and you also have a bathroom. In case you didn't think they had a bathroom. Let's check this out. Awesome. Okay, and finally, I'm going to show you a four birth cabin where we're going to meet Emily Moore. More, more! <laughs> Welcome to the four birth. <gasps> Come I'm on. I'm so in. excited. Here we have the bathroom. The bathroom. Yes, can, which looks the same in all cabins, so. You can really use it that. is. No, <laughs> it's great. It. Here's my humble abode. <gasps> a double lovely. birth. Mm. Not too much space. Definitely cozy. <laughs> <laughs> kind of a kind way of describing it. Our closets. Each person gets their own. Right. You each have one. Okay. And the best part about the whole thing is that the walls are magnetic. Ooh. So if you're coming, bring magnets, bring things you can stick. My family sent me this. Oh. Aww. Or if you don't come but you know someone who does, send them a magnet because it's encouraging. It's super helpful. Yes. Down here we have our second space. And the curtain kind oh, of divides it. I love it. Love Trinity. And here we have our living area, complete with the map of Africa. Oh yes. We're right about here, right? Awesome. So we've got our couch. Uh, most of the rooms that are four berths have a little refrigerator and some shelving. And if you're lucky, you get a window ocean into view. the outside world. <laughs> ocean front view. Pay big bucks for that, I'm sure. You know it. <laughs> awesome, thank you so much. Thank you Show for visiting. Room.